Kids at school called me Eddie Spaghetti. That wasn't fun. I'd say, Eddie Spaghetti, your meatballs are ready. That's what they would say. That's how they tease me. The jerk that started this lived right next door to me. Little Ray Ray. This little punk. And one day, we got in a little scrape behind the cars in the driveway. And Ray Ray kicked my ass pretty good. Pretty damn good. To the point where I ran away from him crying. And my mom was on the porch. Oh my gosh, Eddie, what has Mama Ray Ray, he slapped me, punched me in the face. Oh, come here, sweetheart. I remember, come here, baby. We're in the kitchen and she's hugging me. It's okay, he's a bad boy. His daddy's been in jail like three times. We're just, we're not that kind of family. They're mean, right? He's a bad man. And I can hear, I can hear. Here comes Big Ed down the hallway. I can hear him. I'm thinking he's going to give me a big hug too, right? My dad's, what the hell's going on in here? My mom turns around and says, this criminal next door, Ray Ray, has assaulted our son for the 400th time. That's what's going on here. Are you going to do anything about this? And my dad goes, get your hands off him. He goes, get over here. And he gets down at my level and he goes, look at me. You are leaving this house and you were going back over there and you are kicking his ass. You understand me? I'm not, no, dad, he always kicks my butt. And I walk over to their porch, which is like three steps from ours. And I knock on the door, their screen, and Big Ray all tatted up, no shirt on. He's through the screen. What's up, Eddie? I said, um, Big Ray, um, my dad says I have to come over here and kick Ray Ray's ass or I can't come home for dinner. So, and Big Ray goes, I like that kind of party. Let's get him. I'm serious. I hear him at the door. Ray Ray, Ray Ray. That's all he does. Ray Ray, get over here. Little Ray, little bulldog comes running up. <laughs> right? He goes, hey. Little Eddie wants another piece. And little Ray Ray goes, let's do this. I'm like, oh crap. And we got up there and Big Ray goes, you get there, you get there, go. And Ray Ray came at me. And by some force of sheer blessing from God, I got this little dude in a headlock and I'm giving him, my dad used to give me noogies, remember noogies? So I didn't really know how to hit him, but I'm noogieing the hell out of this kid's head. Noogies, just noogies. And so finally, I kicked his ass, right? No. So, Big Ray stops it. Big Ray pulls us off each other and he goes, Ray Ray, he got you. Now shake his hand. And we shook hands. And I walked home, my dad's like, now get in here. Let's make some spaghetti. Let's do this, right? <laughs> right? So proud of me. Now, I'm just going to tell you a couple, couple things you need to know. Number one, that taught me life will give you what you'll fight for. That's really the point of the story. Now, my mother, who heard me tell this story one of the times, she feels like I should also divulge another set of facts. I don't even know why this is relevant at all, but because my mom asked you, I will just, because this was the, I'll just tell you, I was seven, Ray Ray was four. I just want you to know that. But I don't know why that's even relevant. Why is that relevant? Why is that relevant? Life will give you what you'll fight for. Once and for all, you could find out what you're capable of. Once and for all, you could find out if you're capable of becoming this man or woman you always dreamed about. Life's going to give you ultimately what you'll fight for. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bow your back a little bit. Start to walk a little different. Start to be that best version of you. You can do it in your quiet way. You can do it the way you do it. But somehow they got to look at you and go, okay, I won't monkey with that one. In your life, you're going to get what you tolerate. So what's the decision? What have you been sitting on? Is it the decision to finally get serious? Is it the decision to get licensed? Is it the decision to stop worrying about what people think? Is it the decision to become a great closer? Is it the decision to get off of some drug or alcohol you're on? What's the decision? It's sitting right in front of you. You knew it when you came in here. What have you been hesitating on? What are you afraid of? Face it. Right now, what do you need to decide?